Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a cliffside house in Plymouth Isle. So this is quite an interesting lot. Um, it's extremely steep and it's in the kind of side of the mountain um, that I created here in Plymouth Isle. And there's three lots on this particular street. Uh, so there's one mountainside drive, two mountainside drive, and three mountainside drive. So I believe they're called. So this is one mountainside drive. At least that's the name of the lot. The house is actually called Cliffhanger because it's not really hanging, but it is on a cliff. And I thought it was a cool name, so why not? Uh, so what you probably have noticed here already is that this house goes into the ground um, by two levels. So there's like the top uh, platform there I haven't built on top of yet. That's actually at street level, and then it goes two levels down below that. So, yeah, uh, it's a very interesting house, and I really enjoy building on lots like this. Although, I did uh, try building this house like a few days ago, and I really didn't like how it turned out, or how it was coming along, so I just scrapped it and started over. So this is attempt number two at building a house on this lot, um, and I'm much happier with the way that this house turned out than the way the original one was coming along, but... Yeah, uh, this house ends up having three bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms and three different levels, and it's perched on this cliffside here. Uh, just in case you're wondering, this is built on lot number um, 76 in Plymouth Isle. So you can download the house, there's a link in the description below, um, and yeah, you can place this on lot 76 in Plymouth Isle, and yeah. Um, I don't really think this house will work very well on many other lots because it is very specific uh, with how steep it is. So, you know, you'll probably have to place it on the lot I built it on here. But yeah, so anyway, uh, I really wanted to have a garage in this house. And I don't know why exactly. I thought that it would just work well. Um, yeah, so I tried placing it here on the uh, first level that's below ground. And there was no way that was going to work because the... Um, garage the floor of the garage has to be the terrain so you, by default i can't have another level um underneath it so uh what i ended up doing was making the driveway a lot steeper so this is actually kind of like it's, it's kind of weird the way i did this so you when you make a slope driveway you can usually just you can oh, you can do it with one click uh or you can do it two clicks what i mean by that is like you click once and then like like with the um down like the terrain down tool i forget what it's called the like sink terrain tool whatever and then you can like drag it out and then like keep going down like that and it would be like at a you know a one click depth uh per like that's the difference between each tile uh, or you can do two which is way too steep if you do two clicks it's too steep to be a driveway so i alternated between one and two so the driveway wasn't like a smooth slope as you can see it's kind of like um like bumpy so I ended up using the smooth train tool on it later to smooth it out. But this way I was able to actually get the driveway to be steep enough that I could make it all the way down to the second uh, level that's underground here, but not, you know, too steep. That looks absurd. So this is where the garage is going to go. It's actually two levels. Um, or Yeah, I guess it is the second, second level as underground um, and it's the lowest level of the house. And what I ended up doing here is having to raise the train up quite a bit you know, to be able to support it uh, being here. So then I had to um, like smooth out the terrain as well. And I ended up removing this double wall here. So for a while I leave this section of the house with a double wall. And that means there's like this wall you can see that extends all the way down the mountainside there, which I really didn't like. So I ended up removing it. So it ends up looking a lot better, which you'll see, I think probably like halfway through the video. Uh, but anyway, I extend the driveway a little bit. I imagine that in real life, this would be a pretty challenging uh, driveway to navigate because getting into the garage is a pretty tight corner there and backing out of the garage as well there's not really any space but you know it's the sims so we don't have to worry too much about things being super realistic but i thought the idea of having a garage was kind of cool um certainly unnecessary but i thought it was pretty cool in a house like this and you know it does fit a car so it, it at least looks right so anyway here i'm placing in the columns that will hold up the porch or um, kind of outdoor space on the house. So you can see here uh, we have the columns uh, that go all the way down to the ground. And now I'm going to build on the top of the house here, or at least I thought I was, but I guess not. Um, but this area here is going to be where the master bedroom goes, and it's going to be actually on top of the driveway. So 
I thought it was kind of cool to have this part of the house that, um, you know, is suspended over the driveway because the driveway is so steep that it's actually possible for it to go underneath a part of the house that's in itself entirely below street level. So yeah, pretty cool. But anyway, here I'm just working on tweaking the foundation there so we can get the um, uh, wall to fit in. And if you're wondering um, how I built this house into the ground like I did, um, I have a tutorial on my channel actually that shows how to do that. It's called Building into Terrain. So if you just search, you know, the Sim Building into Terrain, the Sims 3 Building Basics, or look that up on my channel, you'll be able to find out how to do that. It's not too difficult, and you know, I made a video on that to show you how to do it. So, yep. Anyway, uh, here I'm starting on the roof. I already put in the top level there. It's not terribly large. It's basically just for the living room. Uh, and here I redo the roof several times because I was trying to get it to be in a specific way, but, um, you know, I just kept changing it. But essentially what I'm doing here is trying to get the roof, um, this half gable roof to be cut away in certain places. Um, so like around that column there, which you can see. So I did actually end up having to extend the house to uh, accommodate that because of the different, um, like the different layers of roofing I had to put in here. So you can see all the different walls there. Uh, and it's kind of annoying to deal with these half gable roofs because if they're not long enough, they uh, go the other direction. So I wanted them to face this direction here. So I had to make sure that the house was long enough for that. But yeah, essentially, I think I, I don't even know if I change it again, but that way, like the roof is kind of cut away, or at least the walls, uh, the wall segments of the roof are cut away for that column in the front, which I think you'll probably see better in the screenshots at the end of the video. But yeah, uh, you, know, you saw it briefly there. But anyway, uh, here I'm just making some cutouts so that one wall isn't just completely solid, though I do alter that a little bit later. It doesn't completely stay that way. And there's also a chimney there, which I actually remove the wall segments for the chimney and just leave it um, as whatever the chimney is from the fireplace. But Anyway, you know, I do some tweaks here and there as I, as I you know, work uh, along on the house here. So um, there's a balcony right now from the master bedroom that faces the driveway. I think I keep that, but I make it smaller and I put another one facing the back, which is actually where the view is. Anyway, here I'm smoothing out where the driveway is going to go because it was a little weird. And it's still a little wonky in the end because it was just uh, challenging to deal with, especially since, as you can see, it, the slope runs right along the house, right along the wall there. So... Yeah, and I also wanted to put windows in the bottom section of that wall where it's foundation for a bedroom. So I had to cut away there and it, it just means the driveway is a little wonky and it was just kind of annoying to fix. So I just left it, but it's not a big deal. Oh, here's where I remove that wall, I think, or not. Nope, I guess not. Uh, I also realized that it would be possible to add another level down in a, in a, as a basement um, underneath the foundation here. Uh, which, you know, I could have done, but I didn't because I didn't need the house to be that big. And also that would be a basement basement. It wouldn't actually open up to the outside, but actually it could. Hmm, that is an idea. Anyway, I could have done that. Or actually, no, I couldn't have because the garage would be in the way. If the garage wasn't there, I could have made a third level underground um, that went down, which would be pretty crazy, but you know, maybe for another time. There are two other lots here um, in this mountainside, so you know, we'll see. But anyway, here I'm working out the floor plan. Uh, the house ends up having three bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. So this is the second level in the house. So it's one level down from the street and uh, it's where there's two bedrooms. So the master suite is here as well as uh, another bedroom. And then down here, <clears throat> excuse me, and then down here, um, at the lowest level, you can see the cutout I'm making uh, along the driveway there so I can put a window for this bedroom because otherwise it'd be a windowless bedroom, which would be pretty sad. Um, yeah, I actually ended up changing the hallway set up there so I can make a larger bedroom down there. So I do that near the end, but that way there's uh, a master bedroom, a kid's bedroom, and a guest bedroom, which I thought was a good, you know, way of doing it. Anyway, uh, this floor here, which I just went past, but the floor with the master bedroom and the kid's bedroom will have the kitchen and dining room on it, and the top level where you enter the house, the street, will have um, the living room. So yeah, and the bottom level has like an office and the second bedroom and the garage. So yeah, a lot of levels on this house, but it's still not a huge house. It's just, it took me a long time to work out, you know, the best way to um, get it to conform to the terrain here and kind of just added a bunch of little things here and there and tweaked this and that, you know, 
get the idea. Like here, I just added this extra balcony on the top floor there, which I thought would be nice because the view from this house is really incredible because of course, it's just the ocean um, on the other side of this mountain and um, you know the house phases out toward the ocean and it's so high up that it's just a really cool view. And you'll see that in the screenshots at the end as well, because, you know, I took plenty of screenshots <laughs> for this video. So, yeah, you'll be able to see the view from the rooms and from the balconies and stuff. It's all very cool. But anyway, uh, here I'm adjusting this roof here, I think. Yeah, actually, I extend the roof all the way out. So I'm doing that right now, actually. So that one column um, that's closest to the right side that goes all the way to the ground also comes all the way up to the top floor of the house, which is kind of cool. But anyway, you can see here, just tweaking the inside, and there's the fireplace. I was gonna keep the chimney inside a wall segment, which is what I usually do, but I didn't do that this time. I decided to leave it exposed, because it was fine, it's concrete, and it works with the house, the, the color scheme of the house I end up going with. So right now I'm putting in windows and doors, or at least some, starting to do that, and um, I don't change the color of them until after I put them all in, which would have saved me time if I had chose the color for chosen. I had chosen the color first, um, but I didn't, so whatever. So yeah, you can see some windows coming in here uh, just around the house. There's some nice windows for that bedroom that would otherwise be windowless, and yeah, um, I used windows from the base game and from University Life, I believe, for this house, so yeah, um, like the windows that face out the back are kind of more um, open and larger. They have less separate um, panes, but anyway, it's putting those in, so yeah, plenty of windows, and I also put a few windows in the eave I don't really the eave, but like that edge of the half gabled roof there, even though they face nothing, they're they're there. So, you know, why not? Extra detail. Oh, here's where I remove that wall so that there's actually windows into the garage there, not a weird double wall. And then I remove the wall um, later on that's under the house. Um, so that ends up looking a lot better too. So you'll see that. Uh, anyway, uh, putting in a front door, better front door anyway. And uh, what am I doing here? Putting in the driveway. So there's the driveway. Don't go with that texture though. There we go. We'll go with something a little bit smoother looking. Yeah. So again, it's an extremely steep driveway. I don't know how realistic that is, but you know, it's there. Uh, and oh, putting in some trees now, because why not do that? And you can see how steep the lot is by the way that the trees kind of look like a bit strange, like the branches at the top on one side are almost like touching the road um, or the ground there because the the ground is so uneven, but anyway, I do find a couple of trees, I think, just for now, but I put in more later, of course, and I think I'm going to start choosing the uh, wall colors and textures, so I go with this stone here that I use a lot. I quite like it. Um, it's a lot better than the base game stone textures, and I basically just put this on all the columns and stuff as an accent, and I go with this gray. It's kind of like a light textured gray uh, that I put on the parts of the walls that are like deformed because it, you know, they look kind of bad when they're warped. Um, you can kind of still tell that they're warped um, because the texture gets a little warped, but it's very faint, so you don't really notice it unless you look up close. So overall, it looks pretty good. I also have a slightly lighter tone here that's kind of a white um, that I use in some areas, and I actually change the um, side where I put that kind of like horizontal um, kind of like dark gray uh, bricks. I changed that out to be, I think, the lighter stucco or something else. I know I don't like that, this section here. I don't leave it like that. I don't remember what I do though exactly. Anyway, here I go along the journey of, of changing the color of every single window and door in the house because I failed to do that when I put them in. I don't know, sometimes I just like to put everything in um, first and then come back later and do it, but this definitely does not save time. Anyway, uh, touching up some more of the you know bits and bobs here, doing the inside doors as well. And yeah, so I think that's it for recoloring windows and doors. This is the master bedroom, this is the kids' room, and down there uh, will be the guest bedroom, which I make larger. And I think we're going to start off with the kitchen here. So the kitchen goes on, again, like I said, the second level uh, from the street, no, the first level below the street, I guess. I don't really know how you'd like number the levels in this house because it starts like the first floor where you enter is at street level and then it goes down two levels below that but they're not really basements because they're mostly open to the um outside it's really just the front um of the like these levels that don't have windows because that's the ground but the other three sides are not underground so i don't really know what you'd call them it's like i guess you could number it like you enter on the third floor and go down to the second floor and first floor i don't know but you know, it's, it is what it is. So here is the uh, arrangement of the living room um, 
I just originally just put in some furniture to get a sense of the rooms and where I wanted things to go, and then I go back later and recolor them all. So I do that for the kitchen and dining room as well. So anyway, down here I actually shift over the stairs for the uh, garage because I wanted to get a little bit more space in what will be the office area. So I just kind of shifted that over so, you know, the garage is less important. So I kind of just made it a little bit smaller there. And here I'm choosing the tile that's going to go on the uh, balconies and porches and stuff. So it's just kind of like a nice gray tile there, I believe, from late night. I actually add a balcony here off the master bedroom that faces out toward the ocean because, you know, that's where the view is, should have a balcony there. So that's what I did. And I actually connected it to the main balcony of the house because it was separate originally. I also shrunk the uh, front balcony from the master bedroom because it just looked kind of weird. And also because the driveway went under there and I thought mm, perhaps it should uh, not extend out so far. But anyway. Yeah, but I originally had it wrap around the corner there, but I changed that. But yep, yeah, now it's connected up and last tweak there to it. And there you go. So I think that's it for balconies. And now I'm going to ah, remove the wall. There we go. You can see it looks a lot better once I get rid of that wall, because like the fact that the train goes all the way up to that to the like uh, inner wall there is mostly hidden because you can't really see that when all the walls are up. And, you know, it just looks like the train is there and not like, um, you know, this wall extends all the way down the hillside. Uh, and you can see I changed out that wall to be the stone, actually. I forgot I did that. I thought it was stucco, but it's stone. And what am I doing here? Who knows? Kitchen. I think the kitchen. So yeah, we're finally going to come in here and redo the kitchen or color it in. It's not only really redoing it, but yeah. So finding a nice wood color for these cabinets here from into the future. And I went with a stainless steel countertop, which I thought would be kind of interesting and different. And I actually end up putting stainless steel sinks throughout the house because you know, don't, haven't done that before, so might as well. And uh, yeah, there's all the cabinets, and I'm going to uh, fix that island counter as well, because right now it looks a little goofy because there's a gap between it. Um, but yeah, just ch changing the colors of things, uh, finding a nice backsplash. I go with this kind of blue tile. Um, it's like very elongated subway tile. And <clears throat> wow, my voice acting up again, part two in this video, wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, here I am doing the wood floors. So these wood floors go throughout the house. Uh, they're pretty much in most of the rooms, uh, except for just, I think, one bedroom. So yeah, they look pretty nice. And here I am doing the uh, dining room area. So making sure the colors there are good and nice little bowl of fruit there. Also a couple um, island stools there. You know, might as well have them. And yeah, so here I'm just uh, choosing the lighting here changing it around a bit, and uh, soon I'll be putting in some details. haven't even chosen a wall color yet, so I will choose that soon. Uh, but yeah, putting in some blinds as well. I put blinds in most of the walls because I feel like that's more realistic to have. Um, you wouldn't really have windows without any window coverings at all because, you know, sometimes you want to have blinds, I guess. So anyway, uh, I went with a basic kind of like off-white color for the walls, and now I am going to choose some artwork to go in. So some artwork and some plants and stuff, you know, just the details to finish up the room here. And uh, also some wall lights as well, because it was a bit dark in some places. So I'm just finding the ones I want to use, so I was putting those in as well. And yeah, I think that's going to be mostly it for this room. I don't know if I do too much more to it. I think I do a little bit more, but anyway, uh, what am I doing here? Just going back and forth between the different levels. That's fun. Oh, finding a rug, a runner. There we go for the hallway. And I also put a side table in the hallway at some point, uh, probably soon. Yeah, I think right now. So there you go. There's a side table in the uh, hallway and also a nice mirror there. So there you go. And I'm going to put a plant there in the kitchen. And I think some details on the kitchen counters as well. So yeah, just going through the different options here and putting some things in. So there's some hand soap, that's nice. And yep, some um, burglar alarms, fire alarms, things like that. Uh, this here is going to be the laundry room. So the laundry room is uh, just right off the kitchen there. Uh, pretty decently sized, but not, you know, massive. And yeah, just kind of like a continuation of the kitchen there with the backsplash and the um, uh, overhead cabinets. but. It's its own. It's its own room. So there you go, and uh, yeah, changing up the colors of things, choosing some blinds, putting in a floor, and I think that's pretty much it for that room. I put a mirror in as well, actually, with a sink. 
Uh, so yeah, there you go. So that's the um, laundry room. And I think we're gonna do the master bedroom next. So the master suite is right here. It's kind of over the driveway, like an extension to the house. And I go with kind of this gray and purple color scheme, which is kind of interesting. I also kind of rearrange the doors here so the bed can fit along that wall. And I go for kind of like, I forget what the bedspread looks like. I guess I'll find out in a second. Oh yeah, I go for like that bedspread, which kind of has like these little uh, modules on it or whatever those are, like pebbles or some sort of like texture there. And I go with purple. And I also use, <clears throat> wow, my throat again. I also use these um, mirrored side tables, which are kind of cool. So they're like uh, mirrored on the front, but wood on the top. And so I thought those would be kind of nice. But anyway, I also put in a TV here that across from the bed, which is pretty cool. You know, it's a nice feature. Uh, and also this nice wardrobe. And I was thinking about putting the bed like facing out, like toward the ocean, but then it would just be kind of weird because there's balconies on both sides of the room. So I didn't want to block any doors. But anyway, um, just doing a little bit more there in the bedroom. Uh, this is the master bathroom, which also has a window that faces toward the ocean, which is nice. I also put a blind in that window because it also is right, um, you know, in front of the balcony there. So you know, might want some privacy. And there's also a nice uh, bathtub there right in front of the window as well. So you can see the ocean while you're in the bathtub. It's pretty nice. And putting in the sinks here in the bathroom, also some tile on the backsplash as well. So just finding what I want to use here, I kind of go with that tile. And also the shower there in the corner, and also looking for some mirrors there. I was going to do something kind of different with the uh, floor mirrors, but decided not to. So I went with just some normal wall mirrors. And also some toilet paper there. It's actually the first time I've used that toilet paper roll. It's from Into the Future. I normally just use the base game one, but look at that. It's a fun and fancy toilet paper roll. I also put in some nice flowers there on either side of the bathtub and a bit of artwork there. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the master bathroom. And in the master bedroom, I just put some plants in the corner there and in that corner and also a chair. But I think that's pretty much it for the master suite. And we're going to move on now to these, this hallway bathroom. So, you know, this is just one of the uh, many bathrooms in the house. There's actually more bathrooms than bedrooms, which is unusual, but this is uh, mainly the bathroom for the kids' room, which is right next door. So, you know, it's just uh, mainly for that, but also it's, you know, the main bathroom on this level as well. So right now, just putting in all the details in here and you know, some nice towels there and a little bit of a fossil on the wall, but I think that's pretty much it actually for that bathroom. So right now I am just putting the same flooring throughout the house here, also putting the clothes in the master bedroom closet. And I think now we're gonna do the living room. So the living room has this nice fireplace here, the TV over it, uh, and also the stairs there that kind of a little bit open to the hallway below, but essentially just choosing the colors for the furniture that I'd put in earlier. Um, so just going through the options here, I go with blue actually for this room uh, for the most part. I also changed the gold fireplace, which looked good before I put the lighting in, but once I put the lighting in, it started like glowing yellow, and I was like, mm, perhaps not. I think we'll go for uh, a blue fireplace. So you'll see that in a bit. But anyway, just looking through the rug options here. So I go with this pretty uh, standard beige rug, but also putting in some plants as well. So just uh, putting those in. And what's next? I think a bookshelf that goes under these windows here. So that'll look pretty nice. Um, yeah, I like that. I like the bookshelf. I think it's from Roaring Heights. And I also use another one that came in that set um, that goes uh, by the staircase, which you'll see, I think, in a moment. Also putting in some plants here and some more lighting, I believe, there. Yep, it's a nice sconces. And also some blinds on the windows. And I think some curtains, too. I think I put in some curtains. Yep, I do. These are actually the only curtains in the house. Um, all the other windows have blinds on them, but... I don't know. I thought I'd do that in the living room just to make it look a bit nicer. So once I put the lighting in, you can see the fireplace looks quite horrifying. So I changed it out to match the sofas. And I also put a grand piano in here. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, you have that uh, kind of in that open space there. Because it's like, I don't know what else to put here. You know, there's that little bookshelf I was talking about. I also put a little side table there next to the front door. So you can have like a phone there and just some random things. I think it's just the phone. But, you know, that's cool too. I also put in another runner uh, to go there from the front door and a bit of art there over the stairs. And I also think I put in um, a stereo. So there it is. Yep, a stereo indeed. Also some more plants in the corner. And I think, uh, oh, a gaming station and some, oh, a light and plant. I knew I'd put a plant in. So that's it for the living room. And now we're going to do the upstairs half bathroom. So this is just 
a pretty basic half bathroom here. Um, it's got your sink and a toilet, most of the same stuff from the bathroom downstairs. So yeah, just putting that in here. So just figuring out a backsplash to go in and a mirror, there it is. Wow. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the bathroom. Cool beans. Also put in some blinds too, actually. And artwork, no. Actually some stuff on the counter. There you go. So next up, I'm going to move on to changing the color of the stairs here. So the wood stairs look quite a bit better than the, uh, whatever the default texture was, like asphalt, asphalt or something. Uh, so yeah, and um, now what? So, oh, here's where I adjust the downstairs hallway. So I expand this bedroom here and kind of shift around where the closet goes. And this way I can fit a normal size bed in this room, which is much better. And also it acts as a nice guest room because it has an ensuite bathroom. And I think that's the room we're gonna do next. So yep, here we go. Uh, I'm using the bed here from World Adventures. I like the bedspread, it's actually pretty nice. I think I leave it as well. I was gonna change it, but I decided not to. And uh, putting in some side tables there and also just some other furniture. It's not a huge room, but it works as a guest room. And you know, I'm glad that's big enough to fit a double bed. It also has those nice windows there that just look out to the driveway because this is one of the lower rooms. It is on the lowest level actually next to the garage there. And yeah, so just, I was gonna put in that um, nice yellow artwork uh, painting, but it didn't fit unfortunately. Um, so I ended up putting it in the other room, but you know, it's fine. Anyway, uh, here I am just doing some stuff in this room. I think that's pretty much it actually for that room. Uh, I put in uh, some clothes in the closet there, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. So anyway, we're gonna do the bathroom here. So this is just another uh, full bathroom. It actually has a tub and shower in it. So it's the only bathroom that has a, sh uh, a tub in it besides the master. But uh, just putting in the uh, colors and stuff in this bathroom, it's pretty simple. It has the yellow though that matches the bedroom that's you know joined to it, which is pretty cool. Nice and color coordinated. Uh, get in the floor there and also just some other details. So of course the hand towels and uh, the toilet paper and the uh, bath towels and all that kind of stuff. But yep, that's gonna be pretty much it for that bathroom uh, once we put it in the rug. So anyway, now I'm going to uh, move on to this other bathroom here. That's just off the hallway. And it didn't need to be a full bathroom, but I would made it a full bathroom because there was that little nook there that fit the shower perfectly. So I was like, why not? Uh, this bathroom, I forgot to put a mirror in it. Um, so I did that off camera at the end because I realized when I f after I finished that I never put a mirror in this bathroom, but you know, that's fine. It's there in the end, don't you worry. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. It's black and white pretty much, and yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna move on now to the office area, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so we'll see in a bit here. Do, 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 doing some things, doing some stuff, and yes. So this is the office. Uh, it's on the lowest level, and you know, it's, where, it's basically where the stairs come down to. And like, this could also be like a second living room as well, but, or I guess there's kind of space for a fourth bedroom. It would be very small though. It wouldn't really work too well. So I decided to make this kind of like a nice office um, bonus room area. So, you know, you have the computer desk there, some bookshelves, also a little sitting area. I thought it worked out pretty well. And uh, just getting in the uh, colors for everything and also a nice rug there. And you can see the yellow painting, uh, which I wanted to put in the bedroom, but didn't fit. So it's fine, it's in this room now. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this room besides this um, kind of chest there. And don't worry, I didn't forget the yellow horse in this house. It's gonna go on the chest here. So just give me a bit to um, <clears throat> figure out when I wanna put it in. So I will eventually. I think I'm looking for it right now, actually. Oh, mm, I think, yeah, there it is. Yay, the yellow horse, amazing. So anyway, I was putting in the uh, garage stuff here. Uh, to some lighting on the kind of lowest area there, so it's not kind of hideous looking. Also putting some, uh, you know, texture on the wall there. I hadn't done that yet. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the lowest level. I think the last room I have to do here is this kid's room. So uh, this room is, you know, pretty simple. It's very small. Uh, it's only three blocks wide, but it kind of has this nice blue color scheme. I quite like the bed. It's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, just, you know, figuring out the carpet color here. I also just put in a side table. Also, I put in a pretty large wardrobe too, which you'll see in a sec, there it is. Same one that's in the master bedroom, which is a bit unnecessary, but I thought it looked nice. And yeah, just getting in some various things in here, some beanbag chairs, a nice uh, lamp on the bed there, on the 
nightstand there, not the bed, and just some stuff on the walls, and uh, yeah, more stuff on the walls, and a little toy there, and I think uh, that's pretty much it besides the carpet, there it is, and of course we do the closet as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior of the house, I think. Yeah, so now we're gonna do the exterior furnishings. So on the outside, we simply have um, uh, just like, you know, some out outdoor dining area, uh, just some uh, lounge chairs, and I also put in some other things, I think on the upper level. But this is the largest uh, area where the kind of outdoor space is. But up here, there's a lounge chair, also a, a chess table outside, which I thought would be pretty nice. I mean, this area here is undercover, so it would be fine uh, probably from the weather. And I also put in a telescope and an art easel. So this is kind of like a nice uh, skills skill building area there outside on the um, kind of back porch. So anyway, putting uh, on this lowest uh, level here, just some outdoor seating. Uh, so there's like a nice little sitting area there, which I think is kind of nice. So yeah, just doing that, uh, putting in a nice coffee table. I also put in a wicker rug as well. So it's not really a rug, more like a mat, I suppose. Uh, and I also have some hanging plants there um, on that balcony. But yeah, right now I'm just gonna do some outdoor lighting and some landscaping before we wrap it up. So yeah, of course there's some screenshots coming up pretty soon. Uh, you can also uh, download the house, like I said at the beginning. So there's a link in the description below and this house goes on lot number 76 in Plymouth Isle. And uh, you know, you can watch the whole series of me creating Plymouth Isle um, on my channel. I have a whole playlist and you can also download Plymouth Isle as well. Uh, I have a video on my channel where I have the kind of overview of the second version of Plymouth Isle and there's a download link in the description of that video. So yeah, right now I'm just adjusting the wall there at the end of the driveway so I can get a little bit more space. Um, it does mean the terrain looks a little bit more goofy, but it, it looks better for the driveway's sake. And I also put in a lot of rocks as well uh, in the back, uh, which you'll see in a second. So yeah, there they are, giant rocks that kind of like uh, ascend down the mountainside there, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I do blend them in pretty well with some plants, so it doesn't look super bizarre, but yeah, I think the rocks are kind of cool. So just doing that, and I'm going to put in some bushes and stuff intermixed in there, and it kind of kind of you know shows how steep that hillside is. It's very steep. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's a cool lot. You don't really see many lots like this in the game, which is why I want to put this in. And this is actually the first lot I think I'm, or the first house build I'm doing in Plymouth Isle that's actually not on a flat lot because so far. All of them have been on flat lots, which is kind of boring. So, you know, this one's pretty cool, uh, but there are a lot of flat lots in Plymouth Isle. So, you know, I will have to go through all of those as well, but there are some cool ones like this one. But anyway, we're wrapping it up here. We're going to be heading on to the screenshots in a few moments. So if you enjoyed, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Also, um, lots of other uh, videos like this on my channel that you can check out if you want to. And yeah, so, you know, just going to finish it up here. Just a few uh, final touches with the terrain paint um, before we move on to the screenshot. So, yep, uh, shows all the different rooms in the house and various things like that, as always, of course. So just changing up some small details here before we move on to the end here. So I do the same things I always do with my builds. So I'm painting in uh, kind of all the columns and stuff black, uh, you know, all the areas your sims can't go. And I also do the under roof area as well. It's kind of like wood texture that I've been using in all my builds and also just a bit more terrain painting, of course. And yes, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it here. Just the few final things, like I said 10 times already. And yes, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Uh, bye everyone, have a great day.
Thank you.